Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'll be showing you a new overhaul mod that people have been working on called Borderlands uh, 2.5. Now, I've, I think Dirch made a video about it, so you guys probably already know about it, but this has been in the works for uh, quite a while now, for actually half a year, and they're finally making some significant changes and it's almost done. So. I want to go over some of the Salvador changes, maybe some of the gear changes. And I'll be streaming this on Sunday, actually, as I'll be going through all the bosses, uh, because I want to do a 100% boss run with this thing. So I guess we can t take a look at some of the, those weapons. Like, uh, they, they seem amazing, uh, especially from just looking at the skin. I don't even know half of these things to do. I just executed it as uh, Beep Beep Joe gave me or yeah, it gave me a beta file so I can try it out for my stream. So yeah, let's go over the Salvador changes. So Guns are King is changed, by the way, I think. It says, uh, while Guns are King, you can still gain 50% of your max health, that's vanilla. And the damage resistance is also vanilla, but the weapon swap speed, increased movement speed, and constantly regenerating health and ammo. The weapon swap speed and movement speed weren't part of it. So that's new. So Salvador has been pretty revamped from what I can tell. Uh, and I think he is revamped for the better, as he's not uh, broken as much, and he's actually a pretty balanced character now, believe it or not. Uh, I've played with him before. That was like whenever uh, they first remade him, but I'll make sure to check out and read out, read out his skills. So I guess we can start with the gunless tree. Uh, locked and loaded doesn't seem to be changed still uh, the same, but uh, if you max out any of the gunlust skills, you can, you can get 10% kill skill duration. Meaning that if you max out any of these skills, uh, you, can, you can get more kill skill duration and it can stack up to 20-30%. And uh, this is a bit new. Uh, because qu quick draw wasn't a kill skill, and now it's a kill skill, and it can give you uh, bullet speed as well as weapon swap speed that it additionally had. Auto loader, uh, killing an enemy instantly reloads all your weapons you have equipped that are not currently in your hands. Yeah, that's what auto loader, auto -loader did. But the new part is the added swap speed, reload speed, magazine size, and ammo generation for all ammo types, which makes it a much more appealing skill to pick. I mean, Huckleberry, uh, this used to be the pistol skill that Salvador had, but now it gives you just gun damage and uh, dam uh, damage reduction from bullets, and it's a kill skill now. Fell to the brim. Uh, this was a skill that was here, but uh, they bought it here, which I think is more fitting. Uh, hot load, I don't know if this is new or not, I haven't seen this before. Swapping weapon causes your... Uh, oh yeah, I think I know. I, I think it's called... Uh, it used to be called in a different name, I think. So I guess this gives you more damage and now just some recoil reduction, which is nice. Divergent likeness. Uh, this is now a game changer, if I believe right, which is better. But it, it does a lot. Uh, I think this is like Jack's capstone from uh, that gives you company bonuses but this is for uh, weapon types it's pretty cool I, I kind of like it I definitely want to try out Salvador too I'll go do a run with them swapping weapon causes oh yeah I'm already reading that sorry killing an enemy increases your fire and critical hit damage with all guns for a short while uh, this is a uh, now this is not changed. I think the numbers are though. Uh, just for just got real. Uh, this was a skill from here, but they moved it here, and I don't think it changed much. Uh, no kill like overkill is doesn't seem to be changed, but I think they just buffed it because this is already the best kill in the game, as it gives you so much good damage. But now apparently it just gives you ammo regeneration for all ammo types. And it gives you more kill skill duration, so it became even more of a powered. And money shot is not in this tree, by the way, because they read it money shot. Silver bullets. Uh, I don't know if that's inconceivable, because inconceivable doesn't seem to be here. And if you max out 
uh, any any skill here, you can get plus one bullets in your guns magazine, which is good. That's like Nietzsche's skill that adds uh, that adds bullets into your guns. So this is good for Jacob's weapons. Uh, this is just last longer, which uh, just gives you. Uh, oh, that gives and gives your magazine size of all guns there, and that's actually pretty cool. Uh, double your fun wasn't changed; it just gives you ammo regeneration for all ammo types. <laughs> Steady as she goes. I think this used to be a, a game changer, but now they made an actual skill. Uh, this hasn't been changed. Money shot. <laughs> As you expand and we receive bonus bullet damage. Yeah, so they did change how this works. So it's not in your last shot. So instead it's just how much you expand on it. And this is a game changer too. So I guess I guess you can't really do the money shot change anymore with this. But I kind of like this money shot change as it's it's better than just a one-time bonus as it just gives, keeps giving you uh, damage. And the fact that it gives you more ammo regen is kind of cool. Kill an enemy gets to reload uh, speed and weapon swap speed. That's kind of cool. That will kind of synergize with this because you'll have like a fuckload of uh, kills, kills, and weapon swap speeds. While the guns are king, la while guns are king, the longer you hold down the trigger, the faster your guns fire. So I guess this is the the equivalent of keep firing, but it's it's much more powerful. I kind of like that. Get some. I, I guess they changed get some, so it's you have to get a critical, so you can get so you can get the effect now. Hasta la vista. That's that's a cool capstone name. While guns are, can your your guns will fire multiple bullets at once, and have a chance to not consume ammo. So they integrated uh, inconceivable into this. I kind of like that, and they made it even more powerful. I definitely have to try that one out. Hard to kill gives you. Gam damage resistance versus all damage types. That's better than what the max health bonus I had. And if you maxed out anything, it'll give you 10% maximum health in this in this thing. But yeah, it seems like uh, all of these give you, just give you ammo regen, which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't think they changed a lot of these. Uh, yeah, they haven't changed much of this, but this this thing they did change. This seems to give you a lot of bonuses. It's better. It's it's better than. Uh, I guess it can Gunzo can fight for your life because this says nothing about fight for your life. That's kind of cool. I guess they inter integrated it into Gunzo King. So yeah, um, Asbestos doesn't seem to be changed. Uh, this has been changed. Ready to strike, which used to be over here. <laughs> So this is just based on the ammo currently on your magazine and increases your critical head damage and melee damage. That's kind of cool. Ain't got time to bleed wasn't changed. And this also has a bit chain, but now it's a kill skill instead of a passive effect. And it's not on your guns, okay. king. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, I guess I'll build up a spec and we'll kill some things in Southpaw. Yeah, my bar is disabled. Um... Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll just run to my normal setup. Um, there's so many choices. I don't know what to pick. I guess I'll go down this tree. Oh yeah, my comms boost. Different things. I kind of realized that. That's all right. I guess they didn't change the comms yet. Ah, uh, so out of bubble gum has it been changed? Ah, uh, yeah. Less recoil is good. <laughs> Money shot. I'll get that. And I'll get that. I'm not sure how my guns are gonna do. Especially because this is a brand new Salvador and I haven't... I don't really know what's, what's up or not. But... I'll try. And he has so much good skills now. Like, I'm not sure what I want to pick, honestly. I'll pick those two, I guess. Yeah, some of these skills are kind of nice because of the damage reduction. This is more appealing to, to use, for sure. 
Oh yeah, bonus damage. I definitely want bonus damage. Oh yeah, this this hasn't been changed, but I think I'll pick it up anyway because more bonus damage and I'll pick that and probably asbestos. All right. Well, that's kind of cool. Are they changing their relics? I don't think so. They still seem to be very vanilla. Well, all right. Let's try it out. Now the Maloka did get a new skin, and I like that. I guess that's because of the Vladov skins. I'm assuming that's the North Fleet. I probably spoiled it for everyone. All right, let's do a run of this, shall we? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm noticing that they changed a lot of the things. Like Hyperion has a different skin tone to it and Torg does too. I kind of like that. I'm assuming that they're going to be changing everything about the game and I, I kind of like that. Give the game a little bit of a fresh feel. I'm definitely into that. Oh Jesus. <laughs> if you look at, if you look at how many kill skills I have. Man, I guess my guns look in duration is like nothing. Yeah, it is murdering everything super fast. I guess this is... I guess, uh... I don't know. Uh, did that change the Grog? Yeah, I'm noticing my Grog nose is actually killing people. That's kind of cool. I wonder what it does now. Oh, this is, I guess, a modified Lady Fist? That's kind of cool. Again, this is my first impressions. I haven't played this mod before, nor have I helped in making it. Uh, I, I guess I offered some of my help, but that never really happened because I've been busy, as you guys know. Yeah, I don't know. Salvador seems even more powerful than before. But I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that they made all the characters more powerful because I'm only checking out Salvador, as you guys know, he's my forte. But this seems cool. I am noticing I have increased, uh... Oh, I was just I was just trying to see what kind of gun he has. Yeah, I do have increased grenade capacity. I'm assuming that's one of my skills. Oh no. Oh no, come on. Aw. I ran out of ammo because I realized they probably don't give you as... Uh, I think they actually removed some of the ammo regeneration that the Moloko had, so I don't think it's as potent as it used to be. Uh, this does have the base changes of the community patch as well. By the way, so... Uh, I'm not sure, I guess I can... Try out one of the new guns. Holy shit, that looks good. What the hell is this? I... Is, that, is that a longbow that shoots three things? That, that looks really cool. Oh, and it explodes really high too. I kind of like that. As you can see, my ammo region is actually not as good as as it used to be. Oh yeah, he's resisting explosives, so I don't think this is working out as well. And the grog nozzle is not, is not healing me, by the way. I'm assuming that they kind of fixed the grog nozzle, so it's not as broken as much. So I'm assuming that they did a lot of changes, as you guys. Can see from my uh, from the way I play, but I kind of like that. I want to play differently. That's I that's how I always like playing this game. My weapon swap speed seems to be almost instant, instant though, and I kind of like that. I kind of like the new Hyperion. It looks looks all right. All right, that that weapon is is cool. Oh, the storm looks surprisingly better, actually. I'm assuming that they're still redoing some of the weapon changes. As you can see, this this mod is clearly a work in progress. Uh, I kind of don't want to go through all the guns, but... 
Man, that's, that's so cool. Uh, what's the new weapon I can mess around with? Is that the new Hellfire? It seems to have a really increased dot chance, holy shit. Uh, enemies? Hello? This is something that I need to fix on my game. My my spawns are really fucked up for some reason. Uh, I've had this happen to me in one life and without me even running mods. I hexed my game again and it still doesn't work. So I'm not sure what to do to make my game not broken. I just wasted another gun. I think I have to kill all the enemies in the area first. For some stupid reason. I mean, that's fine. I mean, the fact that this thing works, even in OP8, is kind of cool. As you can see, this, this weapon does work in OP8. But they are buffing enemies. They are making up for all of these buffs, because the game is harder. But this mod is also in beta, so they're also looking for feedback. So this is not the final results, I should warn. So not everything you see in this mod is going to be final in the, in the final mod pack. But it's still kind of cool to see all of these changes happen. This submachine gun is, is something if it's doing this much work in OP8. But I'm assuming that they're going to redo the OP levels. And yes, you can guns work and fight for your life. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I think they need to fix this weapon. It's, uh... It's, it's almost one-shotting people in OP8. But I mean, I guess, I guess, I don't know if they were going for the Borderlands 1 Hellfire, because it does seem kind of like that. In some sort of way. You know. I am hitting really hard though. I am going down quite a lot, but I'm assuming it's because I don't know how to play Salvador, maybe. Is that, what is that? Is that a pearlescent? What the fuck? Excuse me? Is that intended? Someone tell me that's intended. Or, or am I just this lucky? Did they modify the drop? No, they had they had to had modify the drop rates. I, Joe, if you're watching this, man, tell me is that did you guys buff the drop rates? What the fuck? That's a that's a pearl. That's, uh, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I'm, okay, okay, all right, whatever then. It's a really good one too. Alright, Wraith. Yeah, this thing does not slag well. I'm assuming they lowered down the slag chance. Stop. Oh, awesome. We're looking into the final area, but so far I'm really enjoying this mod pack. I'm assuming that they probably meant this for new playthroughs. I don't know if they intended for me to like use guns that I already own because this character is like filled with the guns that I already had. But I still wanted to play with it a little bit. I'm still gonna stream this, of course. Hopefully not spoil too much. I probably need to make a new character or something. But they are remaking all the everything, and this is just a beta currently. They're still not finished with this mod. As you can see, I'm not even gun zerking, and I'm taking care of this uh, quite well. What's the fire on this? 15. Oh yeah, also Hustle of Vesta. I, th I think I know why I'm strong, because Hustle of Vesta makes you fire multiple bullets at once. So that's probably why I'm murdering them so fast. I think it's because of Salvador. You gotta, you gotta remember that Money Shot was also remade. So that's probably why I'm just having like no trouble killing these guys. I'm, I'm even one-shotting some of them. Yeah, I'm seeing them drop a lot of loot. I don't know if I got lucky on a pearlescent world drop. Mind you that me having almost 7,000 hours in this game, I've only had that happen three times. Three times only. Have I had a pearlescent wall drop? Not including that one, of course. So it is extremely rare to get a world pearlescent wall drop. 
So I'm not sure if they modify the dark horse in any in any way. I didn't check out this mod beforehand and the filter tool as I probably should have, to be honest. So I'm I'm really not sure. Uh, uh seems like we're good. Let's go roof then. And roof is dead. And he didn't drop anything. But yeah, now this mod is pretty cool. I'm assuming that some of the skills are a little bit too powerful, but I don't know if they were going for that intention. I'm still not sure if they're done with the difficulty changes and everything. But, yeah, there you have it. This this mod is freaking amazing. I, I'm absolutely in love with it. I will definitely stream this this Sunday, so... Uh, yeah. Uh, let me guys wait. Uh, sorry. Wards are hard today. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this mod. Um, it's definitely cool, and they're definitely remaking a lot of the characters, and they put a lot of effort into this mod, and they just want some open feedback, so... Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll speak to you guys later.